Hi neighbors, it's me Drew and I am here to talk to you about the probiotic skincare line at Ulta from Beekman 1802. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan and advocate for Beekman. I love everything they stand for and I'm not going to talk a ton about the brand itself in this video. I really want to focus on the incredible products that they just launched at Ulta. And I say just, they've been there for a few months now, but I've been using the product every day, morning and night. Really want to dive in, really seeing what I've noticed, and really talk to you guys about what I love about their new probiotic skincare line at Ulta. It's available on their website too, but definitely go to Ulta stores and take a look at the beautiful ray of sunshine display that Beekman worked so hard to create. With that being said, I have a couple products I want to talk about today and talk about why I love them. Now, if you don't know, Beekman 1802 was started by Dr. Brent Ridge and Josh Kilmer Purcell, two New York City guys who went to upstate New York on the weekends, fell in love with this farm in a little town called Sharon Springs. Next thing they know, they have 80 homeless goats, a homeless farmer, and no job. With all that being said, they had 80 goats, and when life gives you goats, you make goat milk soap. Flash forward to 2020, they're at Alta, they're at HSN, they're at QVC. In the 37 years combined on HSN and QVC, they are the number one most successful brand. It's incredible, their story, I love what they stand for. And Dr. Brent Ridge was actually the number one youngest, most Let's back that up. He was the youngest head of a medical field in Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. He then later worked with Martha Stewart to create her health and wellness division, and his, his, um, his major was geriatrics, so aging. With that being said, he put on his doctor's hat, sat into the lab, and had to figure out what was he going to create next. And something what we don't really talk about, you know the microbiome of your gut. You drink maybe kombucha or anything like that or uh, yogurt to really help balance the microbiome in your gut. It's that healthy bacteria. Well, guess what? You ever notice if you wake up one day and your skin's a little drier, but maybe you wake up the next day and it's a little bit oilier? There's a microbiome on your skin too. The research that is behind the microbiome on your skin is still very new. And in the next few years, take a look at all the big beauty brands. I bet they're going to be talking about the microbiome of your skin. Just remember where you saw this video first, and remember, Beekman did it first. And the microbiome of your skin is super important. When you nourish the microbiome, the healthy bacteria on your skin, it's going to work for you in the end. So when you're feeding and nourishing that microbiome, all these great probiotics, lysates, goat milk, colostrum, all these great ingredients, your skin is going to thank you back. With that being said, let's get into the product. You can't go anywhere, or you can't start any good routine without a good cleanser. And is this a good cleanser? We are talking about the Milk Wash Exfoliating Cleanser. What's so amazing about this product is there's so many ingredients inside. I'm going to do a little zoom in, but what's amazing is there's AHAs and BHAs that power this Milk Wash. And yeah, I do have some notes here because I'm still learning but it deeply cleanses your skin and deeply nourishes and exfoliates without being harsh and without having any of the physical exfoliation. You're gonna feel the purification, you're gonna feel the exfoliation. It's silky, it's smoothy, it's almost like a jelly complexion, jelly feeling cleanser. I love it. I also love that it's an airtight seal or an airtight pump. So this is my second bottle. I cracked this open a few weeks ago. It's about to here, but it goes all the way up as you use it. And when you pump it, it's airtight, so it's super sanitary, and you're going to constantly use it. I do about two to three pumps. I take it on my skin, dry hands, dry face, massage the cleanser into your face, and then I add a splash of warm water. You can do this at the sink or in the shower or wherever you want, <laughs> you know massaging that in and you're going to instantly notice that the jelly texture is going to transform into this silky, milky 
cream. It's not going to bubble. It's not going to foam. It's just going to create this amazing cream. Keep on massaging for a few seconds and then rinse away. You're never going to notice that your skin feels dry or tight or uncomfortable, but it's going to be clean, fresh, and purified. And that is the power of the goat milk and those lactic acids that are going to exfoliate and brighten the skin, removing that dirt, removing that grime, removing that makeup, while still keeping your skin soft, clean, and supple and ready for the rest of the line. And that is the Milk Wash. Next is my favorite product. It is the hero product of the line, and it is called the Bloom Cream. Hence why I titled this video, Making My Skin Bloom, or something like that. I'm still thinking in my head. What is amazing about the Bloom Cream is it is a very, very lightweight moisturizer. And I'm going to show you a zoom in here on how it works. But for one, the packaging is adorable. They have a little bit of gingham on the top, which is their signature, with the ray of sunshine going through it. But the best part about this moisturizer, it's an airtight seal. So what that means is you take your thumbs on both sides of the unit, I'm going to zoom in on here to show you, and then you're going to push down, and then some of the cream is going to bloom. You take that cream, and you massage it into your skin. Now this skin is going to be so soft, there's no fragrance in any of this line, because fragrance in skincare is an absolute no-no, there's no reason for it. but. With the probiotics and the lysates and all the nourishing ingredients in here, there's a little bit of sea salt that's going to help to purify and help to keep calm the complexion. It feels so great. What I love about this moisturizer, I've recommended this moisturizer so many times to so many people. For one, it's super affordable. It's $45. And if you use it morning and night, I would say it probably lasts about two or three months. It lasts forever. This is my second one and I'm about halfway through it. I love it. With that being said, I love this product for new people. You never overuse it. One pump that gives you enough product. It's great for all skin types. It's great to com combat um, any irritation that you have, anything that's going to be irritating to the skin, if you maybe feel a little bit drier, you feel oily, it's going to help know exactly what you need to do with it. Because again, goat milk has the same pH as human skin, so it's going to know what to do with it. Your skin is going to drink this in like butter, not butter, like water. But with that being said, I say that that's my tagline, with that being said, why I love this product is because of this system and serums. So after you cleanse, you come out of the shower, pump and bloom your cream, and then you're going to take your milk drops. This is the Probiotic Ceramide Serum. This serum is loaded with colostrum, which is the mother's first milk which is rich in nourishing vitamins and minerals and antioxidant protection. There's going to be squalane in here, which is going to protect the skin from environmental aggressors. There's probiotic lysate, which is actually going to help keep your skin resilient over time. You're going to notice firmness. You're going to notice an even glow. Your skin is going to get better over time, not just today, over time. So it's an oil, um, oil dropper or a milk dropper, <laughs> and then I take the cream and I do one, two, three drops of the milk drops. So instead of doing a serum and a moisturizer step, I do both at one. Now I am gliding this all over my arm. By mixing the serum with the moisturizer, it has the most amazing slip to it, you guys. Your skin literally it is like you're feeding your skin. You know how whenever you're really hungry and you finally get something super delicious, you just instantly change your mood? Your skin instantly changes its mood whenever it gets nourished with these two products together because it's feeding it. Your skin needs fed, especially after you get out of a hot, steamy shower. Putting these two products on, you're feeding the skin. You're nourishing the skin. 
Now, you cannot make medical claims, at least I can't. I can't make any medical claims. I can't say it's going to cure anything. I can't say it's going to heal anything. But try it for a month. And here's the thing with skincare. You need to let it work. Your skin, as you know about exfoliation, it replenishes the skin. It reveals new complexion. You're slothing away dead skin by exfoliating. That's why we use the exfoliating cleanser every morning. The key to clean, clear skin, healthy skin, is taking care of it and getting in a routine. If you're trying a new product every week, your skin is not going to know what to do with it. Stick to the routine, stick to what works, and you're going to see an insane difference in your skin. Trust me, at least a month, because your skin needs to get used to it. It needs to start shedding its skin. You, it needs to start realizing the ingredients that it's using to see clear bright skin. I have never woke up by using this cleanser and moisturizer and serum, this skincare routine from Beekman, being like, oh, I hate my skin today. I've never said that. I love my skin. I have no makeup, no CC cream, no anything on today. It's just my skin. It naturally blooms. And yeah, I mean, I do have some acne. I'm still young. I'm wearing a mask all day. I'm getting all that mask knee. So yes, I still am, but I know that my skin is healthy and nourished, and that is what makes the difference. Speaking of routine, we're about to talk about a very controversial topic. Not product, topic. Next, a natural deodorant that actually works. I know, that's, that's hard. How many of you right now, pause the video, take a look at your medicine cabinet, and see if you have a deodorant that has aluminum or baking soda. If it has any of these two ingredients in it, stop using them right now. Get in your car or your bus or the subway and go to Ulta and pick up Milk Stick. Here's why. Aluminum has naturally been used in deodorants, I hate to say naturally because it's not natural, to clog your pores. So yeah, you're not going to stink. Great. With that being said, your skin and your body is not doing its natural processes. So, it's getting clogged, it's going back into your system, and that aluminum is being absorbed into your body. Do you really want to absorb aluminum? Do you really want to, like, melt down a soda can, bottle, can and drink that? No. So, it has been known, if you can do some research on aluminum and deodorants and read all of the horrible things that it does to your body. So, a lot of natural brands went and looked saying, all right, people don't like aluminum in deodorants, let's see what we can do. Baking soda. The baking soda is going to help absorb some of the sweat, not all of it, but it is going to keep you from stinking. Great. For now. Over time, baking soda actually irritates your underarms. How many of you have used a natural deodorant? I'm not going to name other brands, but how many have used another natural deodorant? I'm one of them, where it works great. Works great for a week, maybe works great for two weeks, and then you notice your underarms are red or raw, and they hurt. It's because the baking soda, with the natural frictions of your underarms and your torso, are actually causing irritation to your skin, and then it becomes inflamed over time. That's not good. Your skin does not need those ingredients. So, Dr. Brent and Josh sat down with their team to figure out what are we going to do about deodorant. Everybody wants to try natural deodorant. Everybody wants to be the best, but it doesn't work. It never works. And then poor people go back to aluminum deodorants. I have been that person. I haven't gone back to aluminum deodorants, but I just keep going from natural to natural to natural, knowing it's going to irritate my skin in a few weeks and just accept it. So, what they did, they took out all the bad stuff, and they decided to create an invisible deodorant. To me, this should be called a nourishing, well, milk stick. <laughs> what is amazing about this deodorant, it's packed with the goat milk, it's packed with citrine, which is a natural crystal that's going to help eat the odor-causing bacteria on your underarm. So, if it's eating all that bacteria, there's nothing to stink. Also, it glides onto the skin. You literally, how many times also have you gotten a natural deodorant either in a pot where you have to scoop it and rub it, ew, or it's a powder and it goes everywhere, or 
it's a stick and you're like, it doesn't glide. Look at that. Glides right on your hand. Well, don't put it on your hand. Use it on your underarms. I've never seen a deodorant like this. It glides so beautifully and it doesn't smell. Now, full disclosure, if you're always using aluminum deodorants or you've been using natural deodorants, like anything, especially with deodorant, it takes a while. Your skin needs to get rid of all that aluminum in your body. So, what I recommend, stay home. You should be staying home anyway. I should have talked about this months ago. Use this for 30 days. If your friends are really good friends, they'll still be with you if you smell for a little bit. Your skin is working hard to eliminate that uh, aluminum to detox to get an amazing working deodorant. I didn't have a super long detox with this just because I have been using natural deodorants for a while, but I did. I definitely stunk for a few days, but I've been home, grocery shopping, you know what, put an extra perfume on just for a little bit until you really switch. And now this is all I use. I don't need to apply it multiple times throughout the day, put it on in the morning, go all day unless I like go work out, which that's been long gone, as, as you can see, and I love it. I don't have any issues anymore, and I already bought another two-pack of this because I never want to be without this deodorant. It's everything I love in a natural deodorant. No irritation, no smell, and I do sweat, but I sweat naturally, and I'm doing what my body is supposed to do. So that, my friends, is Milk Stick, and you should be getting it right now. Last but not least is the cute little milk mud. Now, I put this after skincare because this isn't something you're gonna do every day. This is a once a week treat. Think of one night a week that you can just relax. For me, it's Sunday nights. On Sunday nights, I'll wash my face at the sink after work. I will open this sky. I don't put any serums, any moisturizers, and I take the milk mud. Now what the milk mud is, in simplest terms, it's a warming mask, a warming clay mask. This design was inspired by Farmer John's Milk Pail. So we have the little yellow scoop so it keeps it sanitary. So you're going to open the container, scoop some milk mud, and go ahead and massage it onto your skin. When you massage this onto your skin, let it sit. I'm reading here, what it says is our most advanced skin clearing formula activates like warm milk on your face to help open pores, loosen dead skin cells, and purge dirt and oil deep within the skin. Our impossible to lose yellow spatula slips right into its custom made holder after each use, ensuring you get the last scoop of milk mud down to the last drop. Now, it is going to warm you're going to feel it, especially the first couple times you use it because your skin's not used to it. It's going to warm. It's going to get very warm. That means it's working. What that's doing is it's really opening up those pores. As the milk mud goes into your pores, it's going to dry and it's going to suck out all the dirt, the grime, and the oil. Leave this on for 10 or 15 minutes. I leave it on typically for 15 minutes and let it sit. When I do that is I get in a really hot steamy shower. I don't put my face in that hot steam. That's going to be really bad for you. I go ahead and take the steam and the steam is going to loosen the mask and then massage it off. There's tiny bits of exfoliators in there so you're going to keep massaging the skin. It's going to get loose. You're going to massage and exfoliate the skin and rinse off. Your skin might be a little flush. It's because it's been warmed, it's been activated, it's been pulled out of all the dirt, the grime, and the oil. You come out and you put your bloom cream on and you have never seen a product absorb faster than that. Because you're freshly cleansed, you're freshly exfoliated, you're freshly pulled out all the nasties, your skin feels so good. And let me tell you, a warm face, a warm bath, getting tucked into bed, you will sleep like a baby. Knowing that your skin is nourished, your skin is clear, your pores are minimized, it's exfoliated, helps with oily skin, helps clear the pores, and there's shimmering earth materials, minerals that leave your skin with a soft focus finish and an add a touch of sparkle. It's not glitter, guys. It's natural earth minerals. You really can't even see it in the jar. To me, it just looks like a great glow. And again, it's fragrance-free. 
I love this Milk Mud. Like I said, once a week, really deep cleansing. If you take care of your skin, that's one thing I always stress to people. If you have bad skin, you can't just get a mask and expect your skin to work and accept it. Like, you need everyday routine to make your skin glow and make your skin healthy. Trust me, it's going to work. I'm obsessed with the Beekman skincare line. If you have any questions about any of the products I talked about or anything on their website, leave the comment down below, message me on my Instagram, Facebook, comment on my YouTube, Snapchat. I'm on every platform free to talk to you guys because I want to help you guys bloom and help make your skin great. I hope you guys have a great, vi or a great video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and, well, it's only Tuesday. It's, again, it's always been a long week. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope you guys bloom, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye!